is uh, good morning all the students so first today's class we are going to continue with the problems on ac current so first every student uh, you just so tomorrow and day after tomorrow i want every student to go through the internet and search for this particular topics so one line or two lines what is the meaning and what is the use of these topics so which i'm just modifying here is it visible all of you the first one is virtual yes. what is virtual reality next what is python programming what is big data augmented reality cloud computing hadoop ibm cloud and microsoft azure so every first year student also will work with the different software companies example ibm infosys within the first year only so for that i want everyone to go through this particular simple meaning okay uh, i am not going to explain right now what are this so from your end you browse through the internet and get the basic information of this one you can ask your uh, brothers or else anybody who is working in a company also so you just have a discussion and get the basic information of these topics first is it okay all of you uh, those who are present you can take the screenshot okay of these topics virtual reality python programming i want only the basic introduction not in depth so if you are perfect in this one at least introduction then we will modify this explanation and make you to work with the companies internships means the company people if they like your project if they like your work they give you the internship certificates as well as the money also so which is very much challenging all of you i hope uh, you are understanding any one student you just confirm me yes sir yes, sir okay, right. yes. so this is what your life so being now nowadays we got number of technologies okay so what are those technologies how to develop one new app one student was asking i want to develop one new app okay so in order to develop the app also you must have the knowledge on these topics and these are not in the jnp syllabus these are beyond the bw subject so our aim is along with the subject how to work with the infosys ibm and different uh, multinational companies amazon uh, right from the first year okay so for that tomorrow and day after tomorrow you just with your cool brain you just concentrate on this one what is the basic information and very next day i'll keep one seminar okay day after tomorrow so i'll pick up the students who are explaining perfectly what they what they have learned what is the use in general terms let us take it as a challenge okay right so now come back to the subject okay. yeah yeah right if you are perfect in this take in this basics then it is uh, then uh, you, you will be having an idea how to develop the app and uh, what exactly the software engineers who are working in different companies they are doing okay right now come back to the subject here so in our subject now we are moving to the next stage of problems where we are we have studied yesterday reactants inductive reactants capacitive reactants now all the students i'll release the material this one so first you understand we are having series rlc circuit so any circuit if you see the smartphone it contains resistor what is the use of resistor anyone resistor passes the safe current of course it decreases the strength of the current and passes the safe current resistor inductor is present inductor creates the magnetic energy similarly we are having the capacitor capacitor in detail we'll see in the next unit but now if a circuit has resistor inductor and capacitor and we are applying ac voltage what is the voltage value given anyone voltage value is 100 volts. 100 volts means all of you remember in the circuit yes yes and they have given 50 hertz as i mentioned ac voltage ac current they contain the frequency whereas the dc they are dc current dc voltage are not having any frequency okay once so how to solve this problem now how to solve 
so they have given the question a series rlc circuit means we have to draw the circuit contains a resistance inductance capacitor are connected in series across 100 volts 50 hertz supply calculate the total circuit impedance and circuit current and power factor so first our aim is to calculate the current how much current is flowing okay so all the students we have to draw this circuit by studying the question okay we are having resistor inductor and capacitor so yesterday's problem now you see first all the students uh, what they have given inductor how much value they have given 0.15 so any problem if they give the inductor value what is the inductive reactance formula anyone inductive reactance is xl is equal to 2 pi f into l pi f okay so immediately any problem if you see if you see the values of inductor and capacitor so immediately first step is nothing but all the students you must write the formula for xl xl so xl is equal to 2 pi f into l and we know pi is 3.14 2 into 3.14 into 50 is given in the problem frequency and what is the l value given in the problem just now i mentioned l is equal to how much 0.15 0.15 this problem 0.15 yeah these problems are different from the first unit okay so first if you see rlc circuit or if they give a uh, resistor inductor and capacitor in a circuit one second yes they have given resistance value 12 inductance 0.5 and capacitor value 100 microfarads 10 power minus 6 so immediately we have to write the xl and xc value so you must practice with the calculator also xl we have to calculate and xc we have to calculate what is the formula for xc yesterday we have seen 1 by 2 pi 1 by 2 pi fc now you see 1 by 2 pi pi is 3.14 50 frequency given in the problem and into capacitor how much they have given 100 microfarads under very small so 100 into 10 power minus 6 100 microfarads means 100 into 10 power minus 6 if you just simplify using the calci okay so calci you have to complete the denominator part first then one divided by answer you will get this particular value okay so any problem if they are asking on resistor inductor and capacitor immediately you have to solve first step xl and xc okay then what is the formula for impedance anyone tell me the definition of impedance opposition total opposition to the ac current is called impedance ac current is called impedance yes so every student should understand that resistance is not only the opposition to the current total opposition to the ac current is impedance which is the combination of resistance and reactance now yesterday we have taken the formula impedance formula anyone z is equal to root of r square plus x square yes sir no z is equal to root of r square plus x square but here in this problem i am having xl and xc so how to decide whether it is xc minus xl or xl minus xc means all of you you must check the value of xl and xc if xl is greater than xc value then we write xl minus xc or if xc is greater than xl then we write xc minus xc xc minus xl now in this problem how much value we got xl 47.13 47.13 therefore now we say impedance is the vector combination of r square plus xl minus xc all square yesterday we have taken sir what is the actual formula r square plus xl minus xc into 2 r xl xc cos 90 we have done yesterday cos 90 angle is the angle between resistance and reactance is how much anyone 90 degrees therefore we get this expression and just simplification what is the total impedance we got total opposition shown by the circuit 19.4 ohms 19.4 ohms yes but we are supposed to calculate the current flowing through the circuit which is ac current means i is equal to v by z v is the voltage given now all students in the question if they are saying only voltage it is rms voltage so directly 100 by 19.4 okay so problem to problem i will show you the variation so once again 
So what you have to do when I release the material, so you must read this one, a series RLC circuit, then you have to draw this diagram. Okay, you should make an habit. So voltage is present, voltage across resistor, inductor and capacitor also. This is the voltage quantities. So now what we are supposed to do after calculation of the current, let us go for the next stage of the problem. So current we have calculated. Now what is the voltage formula? If you are having a resistor, then voltage formula is V is equal to I into R. In my circuit, we are having resistor, yes or no? We are having resistor, inductor and capacitor. So what is the voltage across resistor means current into opposition. One second. Yes. What is the voltage across resistor formula? I into R. Current into opposition. I into now, what R. is yes? Current we know we got 5.14 into 12. Resistor value is given. Voltage units are volts. Now, voltage across inductor. What is the formula for voltage? VL stands for voltage across inductor. What is the formula? Current into opposition. What is opposition shown by inductor? It is XL. I into XL. XL we have calculated, which is 47.13. You are going to get. Similarly, voltage across capacitor VC is equal to current into XC, which we are going to get the value. Okay. So now, after all these components, because what they are asking in the question, once again, go through the question. Calculate. Yes. Calculate what they are asking. Total, total circuit, circuit impedance. Total opposition. Opposition. Then circuits current. Current we have calculated. Current. And along with this one, we have to calculate the voltage. And what they are asking? Power, power factor. Power factor. Now this power factor is new term for you. I will explain with the diagram. So all the students, uh, we you know, XL, XC we have to calculate. We will get the impedance. Okay. And next, we will get the current. I is equal to V by Z. Without impedance, we cannot solve anything. This is we are doing extra V equal to I into R, I into XL and V is equal to I into XC. So what is this power factor, uh, circuit power factor? See all of you remember this word power factor explains the quality of power. So remember what I am writing. So power factor, what is the meaning? Power factor explains quality. How much quality of power is transferred to your house? So let us say during night time, certain uh, what's going to happen? Your fan also when it rotates, it creates noise, sound it creates. Yes or no? You might see the flickering of the bulb also. So during that particular period of time, the power transferred to the house is not with good quality. So power factor practically explains quality of power. Okay, but what is the formula? See anyone read out cosine of the angle between of the angle between voltage, voltage and, and current, current is, is called, called power, power factor. factor. And one more formula is power factor is represented by cos theta, cos theta cos or cos theta. phi, theta or phi, which is the ratio of resistance to impedance. Sir, what is this one? Impedance. Show me practically. Okay, so now all of you in your notes also you try to draw this diagram, the power factor definition we are taking now. All of you on the screen, digital board is seen, white board, right? So now, sir, what is this power factor? Why it is existing? All of you, if you turn on the switch, switch board, what's going to happen immediately? Voltage will be created. So let me explain the practical behavior. In our house, let us say I'm turning on my switch board. That is switch I'm turning on. When I turn on the switch, at this switch, which energy is present? Voltage or current? 100% voltage is present. So all of voltage. you draw, draw along with me, all of you, the voltage waveform. So whenever we turn on the switch, voltage is present at the switch boards. Voltage cannot flow through the wire. Voltage always present at the end points. So if I turn on any switch, at that switch, voltage is present. Okay. But now, after certain period of time, automatically, current starts to flow through the wires, through the switchboard. So now we say, now I'm drawing the current. Current waveform is also equal to the voltage waveform, the strength. But what is the practical behavior? Current waveform or current uh, will never start immediately uh, similar to the voltage. The proof is, all of you tell me, 
the moment you turn on the fan rotates slowly and then it uh, increases to maximum speed yes or no or immediately in your house your fan is rotating to the maximum speed no no sir no. Yes. Yes. yes first uh, fan starts to rotate slowly and then reaches the maximum speed and similarly tube light also tube light immediately it will turn on no it will just flicker and then it is going to turn on so why it's happening means practically when we turn on the switch the voltage voltage starts from the origin but the current waveform or the current flow will not start from the zero point it will start after certain period of time it depends upon the practical circuit therefore we say the angle between voltage and current there is an angle difference so the angle between voltage and current you draw as it is how i am drawing here this diagram is important certain arrow marks and theta the angle between voltage and current is called the phase angle this is called phase angle theta understood all of you phase angle so why the word phase is there we'll discuss later on there is a angular difference between voltage and current so always if you see in our house when we turn on the switch voltage starts from the origin but current wave form will never start from the origin therefore there is a angular difference between voltage and current now cosine that means i am applying the cos from the trigonometric we can go with the sine also but now uh, there is according to certain rule international standard rule let us apply the cos of the angle cosine so cos theta is nothing but the power factor so what is the formula for power factor all of you power factor is generally represented by cos theta where theta is the angle between voltage and current understood all of you theta is the angle between voltage and current and cos theta one more formula is ratio of resistance to impedance now i'll take uh, finish no diagram all of you right now you see so what is a cos theta power factor yes sir all of you uh, is it visible the new one yes sir yes cos sir theta. now it is cos theta or cos phi any value cos theta means power factor it is a, now you can understand it is a cosine that means cos of the angle between voltage and current there is an angle between voltage and current which is nothing but the power factor so what is the use of power factor for common man understanding power factor explains the quality of power so all of you remember in india the power factor value cos theta is equal to 0.8 and when we study the next unit we'll discuss regarding so in your house you are getting the power whether you are getting good quality of power or not if any electricity department person comes down you can ask him what is the power factor which you are getting to your house is it 0.8 or less than 0.8 less than 0.8 means good quality of power is not transmitted so according to the indian power uh, regulation standards every house every industry should receive the power factor value 0.8 then all our components are under safe condition so why it is 0.8 we'll see with the problem later on understood all of you so for every circuit i have to calculate the power factor so cos theta is equal to what is the formula we are having all of you formula resistance r by z resistance is given in the problem impedance you have calculated and what is the value we got power factor it is always less than 1 uh, how much here 0.61 yes sir so 0.61 is not a good value of power factor we got in this problem so if power factor is 0.6 you will get more electricity bill if power factor is high you will get less electricity bills that's why the power factor explains quality of power so if any meter reading person comes to your house or any electricity department person comes down you can ask a question what is the power factor uh, of this power, power factor which is transferred to our house power value or else when you are buying any component in the electric shop you ask what is the power factor if you are buying the led uh, the tube light also you can ask what is the power factor okay so power factor value should be pointed for practical applications so depending upon our problem we'll get different values okay so now right no need of this angle now angle between voltage and current is what see cos theta is equal to 0 0.619 theta is equal to cos inverse of 0 0.619 how much we got 51.8 that in calculator you can apply cos inverse of 0 0.619 51.8 
so no need of this particular word lagging up to here the problem is solved the cost data is it clear all of you we have done the series circuit now all of you be ready we are going for the next circuit all of you parallel so today's class is all about series ac current and parallel ac current so anyone read the question the second circuit now it is parallel so circuit sometimes certain times they will not give you they will not give you circuit certain times so what is the question now a 1 kilo a1 resistor, resistor 142 milli enrich coil means it is inductor and 160 microfarad capacitor are connected in parallel across 240 volts 240 volts means it is the rms voltage only and the frequency is how much 60 hertz calculate what we have to calculate calculate the impedance and current current of parallel current okay current so you must draw the circuit yes resistor inductor and capacitor are connected in parallel they are connected to the ac supply ac supply voltage is 240 volts which has got positive and negative okay now once the question is parallel or series always resistor value is fixed inductor how much they have given 142 milli enrich that is by seeing the inductor you must write which formula xl is equal to 2 pi f into l any problem you have to write xl is equal to 2 pi f into l so substitute 2 into 3.14 into f how much given in this problem 60 60 into and what is l 142 142 into milli means 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 3 you have to substitute so what we got xl now total 53.54 ohms 0.54 yes. just multiplication you can check with the calculator now similarly capacitor they have given 160 microfarads so 160 into 10 power minus 6 xc is equal to direct formula 1 by 2 pi fc we have to calculate xc now you tell me any one now objective type question will be asked what is this circuit name is if a circuit contains only resistors then it is called resistive circuit if a circuit contains resistor inductor and capacitor whether this circuit is inductive or capacitive we have to guess anyone tell me this is inductive or capacitive if xl is greater than xc this circuit is inductive circuit if xc is greater than xl this circuit is capacitive circuit anyone student now you tell me whether this circuit is inductive or capacitive inductive xl value is 15 and xc value is 16.58 that means more inductor inductor effect is more more magnetic energy is created so this circuit is inductive circuit and what should be the formula xl minus xc or xc minus xl the formula should be xc xl minus xc xl minus xc But this is the parallel circuit therefore the formula is once again it is not directly z is equal to root of r square plus xl minus xc all square for parallel circuit what is the formula impedance is equal to 1 by uh, 1 by r all square plus 1 by xl minus 1 by xc all square understood don't get confused all for square. parallel circuit this is the formula now just substitute the values of xl and xc and simplification in the calculator you will get the z value how much you are getting 24 ohms all of you the total opposition see while doing the calculation if you are not getting you update me in the next class i will show you how to do the calculation just entering the calc only okay all the values now z is equal to how much we got how many ohms final opposition 24, 24 ohms. ohms 24 so opposition shown by the circuit to the ac current is 24 ohms so now what mm -hmm. is the current how to calculate the current supply current or current i is equal to v by z v how much given in the problem 240 240 and and z we got 24 and answer current flowing through the circuit is 10 amperes 10 amperes so after calculating the current okay our job is done every problem only it is not compulsory to calculate the power factor if they ask we can calculate what is the formula for power factor all of you cos theta is equal to r by z yes sir no cos theta is equal to r by z so now let us move to the next problem so i want the explanation from you come on what is the question 50 ohm resistor 12 milli enrich coil coil means inductor and 5 microfarad capacitor are connected in parallel across 
what is the voltage now 50 volts 100 hertz supply frequency is 100 okay calculate the total current current for each branch total impedance phase angle phase angle is the theta okay so no need to construct anything right so first we have to draw whether it is series or parallel they have given the parallel circuit with the values you must draw this particular circuit okay so voltage they have given how much voltage 50 so any problem what is the first step anyone inductor how much they have given 20 million we have 20 to calculate million. xl any problem xl we have to calculate 2 pi f into l you will get xl value and next we have to calculate xc what is xc 1 by 2 pi fc these are the formulas now tell me this is capacitive circuit or inductive circuit all the students capacitive sir because uh, xc uh, value is greater than xl xc is 318 we got so it is 100 percent capacitive circuit okay xc greater than xl 318.3 318.3 it is nothing but uh, capacitive circuit so once it is capacitive circuit now the formula is what xc minus xl therefore if you see the impedance impedance you see this is a parallel circuit 1 by r whole square plus what we are having here 1 by xc minus 1 by xl whole square yes or no so this is the value we got so now just uh, substitution of the values now the impedance how much we got 12.7 ohms total impedance so immediately what is the formula for the current all of you i is equal to v by yeah. z yes i no? is equal to v by v by z see these are individual how much current is flowing through resistor only and how much current is flowing only through inductor means i is equal to v by xl like that but first i is equal to v by z we can calculate okay so i this is another method another method you can do or all of you do i is equal to v by z you will get 3.87 yes or no all of you <coughs> there are two methods z is how much all of you 12.7 and what is the voltage given in the uh, circuit 50 volts anyone divide 50, 50 by 12.7 50 divided by 12.7 you do and tell me the current i is equal to 50 by 12.7 how much you are getting you tell me Sir, 0 0.254. 0 0.254. One second. No, no, you check one second. 50 by 12.7. 3.937. Ah, Enter correctly. <laughs> yes, 50 by 12.7. How much you are getting? 3. 3.9 yes 3.9 so all of you here they have 3.87 means approximately 9 so 3.9 so no need to do this method if you are studying this one okay or directly how to calculate the current only one formula what is that formula i is equal to i am writing here uh, what is the formula i is equal to v divided by z yes or no v is how much 50 50 divided by 12.7 you will get 3.9 that is okay 3.9 amperes okay i have written here so now all of you reactance definition we have seen all of you these are important one word answers conductance in intermediate also you have studied what is conductance conductance is reciprocal of re uh, resistance yes or no g g is equal to 1 by r the reciprocal of resistance what is the unit of conductance anyone M H O Mo unit of resistance is ohms and unit of conductance is Mo M H O. Yes, sir. No, in intermediate yeah. you have studied conductance is a reciprocal of resistance. Now, this is important, all of you. Uh, spell this one, anyone? Susceptance. Susceptance is denoted by B. Okay. Remember, all of you, susceptance equal to 1 by X. So, no need to solve this one, all of you. This three bits. I have just calculated extra. So up to here, your problem is finished. The current, total current, you have to calculate. That problem is done. Okay, remaining topics are not included in the syllabus. We have done extra. So now, let us move to the one more problem here. One definition. All students, now. What is the formula for the power? Anyone? Power. P, C, generally you see all of you. Now I am just writing. I square R. Very good. Power is equal to 
voltage into current one formula or power is equal to i square power is equal to i square into r okay but this formulas belonging to only dc dc power but if somebody ask you what is the formula for ac power ac power formula is p is equal to vi cos theta as i mentioned cos theta is power factor so what is the formula for ac power all the students p is equal to vi cos theta VI which cos is called theta. the active power active power you see the last line all of you only this is important it is the real power which any machine consumes your fan consumes or fan takes the active power what is the formula of active power vi cos theta okay so the power which we are getting to our house it is only the active power one simple question i am asking your fan is on because of current or voltage or power think and tell me people say in our house voltage. current see people say people say in our house today we are not having current that is wrong word because only current cannot turn on the fan only voltage cannot turn on the fan product of voltage and current is what power p is equal to v into i v into i okay so both voltage and current are present means then only the fan is on so fan is on because of voltage or current or power now you tell me the answer fan is on power. because of power bulb is on because of power and we are getting from the poles power not the voltage and current both product of voltage and current is called the power and when it comes to the ac cos theta as just now we have discussed the power factor cos theta explains how much power we are getting so all students what is the voltage value which we are getting to our house anyone tell me two days back we have done what is the 230 volt 230 volt 230 volt 230 volts we are getting in our switchboards now power is active power it is the real power which any machine consumes now you see we are having one more power which is called reactive reactive means it is imaginary okay so why this power is created so now you see all of you this line you read all of you this last line uh whenever mm, फॉर्मुला What is the formula for reactive power? V I sine theta. Reactive power formula is what? V I sine theta. Okay. And active power is V I cos theta. Just remember the formula. The proof we will see in the next class. Okay. So next power we are having. All of you, read this one. Apparent or complex power. Complex power in mathematics also we have done complex number. S is equal to P plus J Q. You have done no. X plus I Y you have done. So here, uh, what is active power? Active power is nothing but the represented by P, and reactive power is represented by Q. And S is equal to P plus J Q, or S is equal to V into I. Just remember, what is complex power? Complex power is a combination of active and reactive power. Is it okay? Because I'll take in depth tomorrow next class. So at least you remember what is the AC power formula, all of you. vi cos theta and what is VI reactive cost power theta. reactive power formula vi sin theta vi sin theta vi sin theta okay up to that VI point you will remember so today's class you be perfect one second practice on these two problems okay so our aim is along with the study of the subject okay uh, whatever we are discussing how to go for the internships and how to work with the software companies that is our main aim for that one with cool brain once again i am showing this one every student uh today's uh, okay one second you just go through this particular search through the internet or ask any experts which you know so where i kept this one
so augmented reality ah yes one definition all of you in the material it is provided to you anyone read out what is the name form factor form factor see form, form factor. factor yes yes see all of you if form factor form factor means immediately you have remember the value 1.11 form factor what it is explaining see form factor is the ratio of rms current to average current all of you we can write value of current rms current to average current mean current means average current what is rms current formula anyone value rms current is 0.707 im 0.707 into im and what is average current 0.637 into im 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 get it so if you do divide you divide anyone 0.707 by 0.637 how much you are getting you tell me 1.1 you will get approximately 1.99 0.707 divided by 0.637 Mm. Try and tell me form factor is the ratio of RMS current to average so 1. current. One point one zero nine. One point one zero nine, approximately one point one one. So what this form factor is explaining, we are a form factor says that if you want equal amount of positive off cycle and equal amount of negative off cycle, so form factor value should be one point one one. So AC current has got positive off cycle and negative off cycle. If positive of cycle region area is not equal to negative of cycle, then we will not get good quality of power. So always while generating the AC current, we should maintain the value one point one one. So what is the form factor formula? RMS current by average current, which is nothing but one point one one. Okay. So now next one is peak factor. Peak factor is the ratio of peak current to the RMS current. You see all of you here. The definition is there. Peak factor equal to peak current or maximum current. Value means I can use any value, any name. So peak current. Peak current. What is the representation of the peak current? Uh, I am. Yes or no? Peak current. So RMS current. What is the formula? Point seven zero seven into I am. Here they have written I am by root two. Now all of you do one by point seven zero seven. One divided by point seven zero seven. You do in the calculator. So what is peak factor? Peak current by RMS current, IM by 0.707 into IM. So IM IM get cancelled. One divided by 0.707. How much? 1.414. So you must remember 1. this one. 1.414. P. What is the formula for form factor? 1.11. And what is the value for peak factor? 1.414. 1.414. Okay. And now uh, starting class today, I just given the names. What are those names? Augmented reality, big data, okay, virtual reality, IBM, IBM Python uh, programming, Python, Python programming, and uh, IBM, uh, IBM cloud. Yeah. I have given cloud, cloud. Ah, uh, yes, here we are having cloud all computing. students. Mike. Yes, Microsoft. all students. You can have this one. You can make all the Microsoft Azure, A Z U R E. What What is Microsoft Azure? Everything you have to understand. See what do you use the simple meaning of the word cloud. You know, I will tell you in a one line. Okay. So let us say in your smartphone you cannot store hundred movies. So I am creating in the air one virtual cloud. Cloud is uh, in the clouds. Okay, and the air is going to store the hundred movies in the simple manner. Okay. So you will understand. You go through this one. We'll see in the next class. Okay. Right. Any question?